Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm using the club kit from Spellbinders, the card kit of the month, and this one is called Love Grows Here. Oh gosh, all of these things are just so, so, so super pretty, including this lovely, lovely little partridge that is in there. I don't know if I've got the color right, but you know what? I wanted to go with blue, so that's what I did. This card was actually made during a live stream this weekend that we did celebrating um, having reached 4,000 subscribers on this channel, and I really wanted to give back. So if you guys haven't already checked out the hop, we had basically two days of live hopping, and it was absolutely fantastic. Had so much fun. It was kind of like a big crafty party, so I would love for you to go and check all of that out. Um, but for today, I'm going to do some some more crafting using the same kit um, starting off with I well I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna start yet but I do have this piece of cut pattern paper is from the pattern paper pack this one is um, pretty pink um, diamond grid kind of that's what I'm gonna call it anyway and then we've got a bunch of ephemera we've got some die cut pieces that I've done the bird I cut out of from a die that's actually in this kit and then these pretty flowers and stuff all came from another one of the club kits for the month of December so we've got all of that stuff going on so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the companion piece to this and that is using the other pretty little partridge that I've already cut out and put together and shown how all of that was done on that other video okay and we've also got the other half of the branch now in this die set there is this piece for a nice nice long little branch and I used part of it on this first card I'm gonna use the other half on a second one and I'm gonna use another one of the chipboard pieces but I haven't decided which one to use yet And that's what I'm going to be doing. I like having a nice contrast between the background and the frame or the background of the bird or whatever. And I think that this one is going to give us just that right amount of contrast for this pretty card. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my paper trimmer for this one. And I'm going to trim down the pattern paper to three and three quarters by five. Now when I do that, that is going to give me a quarter inch basically about a quarter inch all the way around when I put this on a card base and I really love having that little bit of white space all the way around so here is a card base that also comes in the kit and I'm going to just use my dot runner adhesive for this a lot of times I like using liquid glue or the um, the tape but for this one, I'm just going to use this mostly because if I did go with the liquid glue, you'd be able to see it through the pattern paper because the pattern paper is a little thin. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to be placing my little bird here in the center with his branch. Uh, last one I did with most of the branch being behind, but I think what I'm going to do this time is kind of have it going across like that and adhere to the top and the bottom of my frame there. So, let me grab my tweezers, that way I can hold everything perfect, and my art glitter glue. So I'm going to put a little bit of, a little dab of glue on the end there, so I can tuck that one back behind the frame, right about there. Hold that in place for a second, and then I can lift this piece up and adhere this tip to the front and that's just going to give a little a little bit of dimension and interest okay next i can add my little birdie right into the front and we're going to have his tail kind of going over the side too uh, i think before i do that i want to put this one down so i have something to adhere the back of my bird to so just adding some liquid glue all over the back of this frame and to most of my little branch there and then I can place that right in the center of my card there we go and then I can do the same kind of thing with my bird I'm just going to add a bunch of adhesive to the back of him 
And also, I lost, <laughs> while I was doing all my die cutting and everything, I somehow managed to lose one of his legs, but I'm not going to worry about it. What I'll do instead is I will basically wind up putting some, um, I think I'm going to put some, a flower or two over him. So you don't really notice that that is missing. So here are a couple of the flowers that I cut out of the of the set. And I think I'm going to put that one right about there so you don't really notice whether or not anything is going on there, right? And I'll add this little leaf. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. I do like how that one is turning out. Now I'm going to need a sentiment. We're going to go with the stamp set. So I'm going to go with, I like this one that says you make my heart sing. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp out a pretty sentiment with that. Okay, and I'm going to use some of my suede shoes from Catherine Pooler. I really love this ink. And this is a little bit juicy, so it shouldn't take much to get a good impression. There we go. And now I just need to trim down the sentiment to be able to put it onto my card. Okay. And make sure, I need to make sure that it's on the outside. I almost put it to the wrong end. So let me put it on the outside. So now I'm gonna place that on, but making sure that the frame, my little chipboard piece does not get covered by the foam because then it won't be flat. I'm going to use some flat back pearls, which I never do. And this is actually, I don't even remember where I got it. I think I got it at Michael's or something months ago. And I think the reason I haven't really used it is I haven't been able to open these because I was afraid I was going to spill it all over the place. Luckily, luckily, I was able to get that done without it spilling everywhere, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more of these little guys to the front of my card. And this, this little pack has got a bunch of different sizes, so that is really cool, too. And these are really, really pretty. Like I said, I don't typically use these, but I think that looks really nice. And that's gonna finish up this card. So for this card, I decided to pick out a piece of pattern paper. Yes, it's very, very light. It's kind of a gray and the words are in white, so you can barely see them. And I'm gonna use this cute little um, image of the little partridges and then I also wanted to fit inside a, one of these Polaroid picture frames. So I've got the picture frame basically down on my card so that I can lift up the stamp and have that place right where I want it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Catherine Pooler suede shoes to stamp this out. And I'm going to have them show up in that pretty blue. Oh, that is darling. I'm going to give that a chance to dry for a second because what I want to do is I want to emboss over it. And yes, you can emboss over um, this ink as well, but if it dries too much, then it's not going to pick up the embossing and all of that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add some WOW embossing ink over the top. So I've cleaned my stamp. So I'm going to stamp this down, same exact spot with some WOW embossing ink, do a couple of layers there. One of the nice things about WOW embossing ink, or rather WOW embossing powder, is it's, it's anti-static as long as you're storing it in the jars. So you don't usually have to worry too much about getting bits where you don't want them, right? Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to be using clear embossing powder, so if I do get any embossing powder somewhere I don't want it. I should still be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. And what this is going to do is it's going to give the illusion that I embossed with blue embossing powder. 
So grabbing out my heat tool, I'm going to let that heat up for a second because this is also thin paper and I don't want it to warp too much. And you can see it's kind of trying to flutter around a little bit as I'm hitting it with the, the heat from my heat gun. Oh, but look at that. That is looking lovely. Okay, do a little bit more. I'm just doing a little bit at a time so that I don't mess things up too much. This works a lot better on on cardstock than on paper, but I think that turned out lovely. And you can see that little bit of shine and the raised edge, so that looks great. Okay, so that I think is going to be really pretty. And to make sure that I get everything placed where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and just add some liquid adhesive to the back of this Polaroid frame. And I'm just placing it down, kind of making the little birds be somewhat in the center. And then I can just use my scissors to trim that excess off. Taking another look at the stamp set, I saw this cute little cluster of little baby hearts. So I think that would look really cute beside our little birds here. Now I'm using a teeny tiny acrylic block because it's a small stamp, which is great. But that's the only way I'm going to be able to get it inside here with this frame because the frame is going to basically, if I go over the frame, it's not going to get a good impression. So I'm going to come a little closer to my little birds and just press down right there. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So don't those little guys look darling? Oh my goodness. So next I'm going to do a sentiment and I think I'm going to do the same way that I did our little birds and I'm going to heat emboss that. So first I need, let's see, I'm actually thinking I'm going to just emboss straight onto the card base. So I've got a card base here. I'll put that right down into the corner and then we've got our picture frame and I'm not sure if I'm going to put it centered or off kilter or how I want it, but it's going to be generally in that area. Um, and then one of the sentiments from this set says, life is beautiful is a beautiful theme with you in it. So I could put that up to the top or I could that put that at the bottom. I think I like it up at the top. And then I could have my little birds be a little bit further down. So I've got my little um, ruler here from misty and it's one of the misty creative corners and i'm just going to run it up against the edge here and bring it down so that it's kind of kind of make sure that my sentiment is about straight and i'm going to tap 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 some of that pretty blue suede shoes ink and press it down onto my card base and that i think is perfect i'm going to do one more quick layer And this, I think, is not going to have enough time to dry for it to bother too much with me um, trying to do a quick heat embossing on it. So get this ready. I think I'm going to stamp it one more time to be on the safe side, just to make sure that it is still damp. And I could let it dry and go back with my um, embossing ink, and that would be fine too. But I'm going to do it this way this time. Okay, so now I know that that is nice and dark. I'm going to add a little bit of embossing powder over the top. Tap it off, and then I'll go ahead and hit that with my heat gun. is lovely love it love it love it so if I do that actually I think that that is perfect that is just enough doesn't need anything additional so now I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to the back and normally I would not be adding liquid adhesive to the back of patterned paper but I'm thinking the embossing on the front is kind of going to hide those glue lines and I am putting this a little bit at an angle okay and I think that is lovely 
So that is going to finish up my cards for today's video. I will be back soon with some more projects using Spellbinder's awesome, awesome products. And you can check out this video over here for an example of some of the things that I've made using Spellbinder's products. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.